wake up and move. Justin Arnold back here again at Flex MP, bringing another Movement Monday. And this is what we're gonna use today. Now, a lot of you are familiar with these. These are foam rollers. Uh, you might've heard the terms mild fascial release. Uh, they're great for relieving some tension, stress, getting uh, like a self massage. They're even good for some prep work and some activation. But did you ever think about using these for the workout? If not, you're missing out on some amazing upper body, some core work that can be utilized with these to take your core training to the next level. Now, we're not gonna go through every single movement you can do with these, but we're gonna go through some of them, again, to get you moving better, feeling better, and living better, and then just jack up those abs and find more uses for this piece of foam than just getting muscular relief on today's Movement Monday. So you've seen one of these. Now with these movements, now if you have one of those shorter ones, you could do this with it, but I highly recommend one of these. These are so cheap nowadays. Uh, you can get these anywhere. Uh, and I would recommend a soft one, uh, and unless you have like some like love for like extreme pain, and I'll go over that anyways. But so foam rolling, you guys are, might be familiar with it. And if you're not like, you know, common thing is, you know, you get on this before or after a workout, adjust when you just want to relieve some tension. A lot of people usually do these back things. Um, and if you do do this, one thing, I, one tip I'll give you, go slow, slower is better. You know, uh, I always try to use this example is, would you ever go to a massage therapist? You're like, I want the drive through the quick way. No, you want to take your time. If you could, you'll be there for an hour, hour and a half, maybe even two hours, depending. So don't, you know, spend some time. If you don't have the time for it, maybe just pick one or two body parts that you can, you know, I always say like about an inch a second. So like going like, you know, good slow, you'll feel some of those tension points. And if you ever get on one of these things and you, it's really painful, then that might be a note to self that you need to do more of this or more recovery work or something. So anywho, that's not what we're here for. We're actually gonna show you core work, but I just wanna go over that real quick. Anyways, so some ab movements. Now, this is taking the core to the next level. Could you modify? For sure. But I want to make sure that if you do this, practice safety first. For example, you might want to just start here and then maybe even do some undulation like this, just some shifting of it to make sure that you've got the stabilization in your upper body to maintain this. Because if you don't, you could slip. And we don't want that happening. Let's take your core to the next level. Quality over quantity. Uh, so anyways, we're going to go over that. So first one is that, plank. And then if you can take it from there, maybe we just add some mountain climbers, side climbers. And then if you can take it from there, make sure you're bracing the abs, squeezing the glutes, try to do some up downs or walking planks. Okay, and then if you're there, there's this thing called an elevator. So it's like down and up. So down and then up. Now make sure you're not picking up those hips. Hips, those are more advanced. Okay, if you're not there yet, on top of that walking one we just showed you, you could just come down here to a forearm plank and do some saw planks. And then you could add some side climbers to it. Another option, if you're just not feeling it on there, you could literally flip it around. Now I'll put this on your ankles. And this is what I was talking about earlier in the beginning about pain. Last night, my son's a hockey player and I was uh, working with him. He's getting about 100 shots in a day. I'm playing goalie, second shot of his 103 last night. The puck hit my shin. It's a little bruised right now. So doing this is not comfortable. Uh, I couldn't imagine doing this on like a hard object. But again, it, it, if anything, it's going to help relieve some of the pain. So you want to start kind of on that. You might do a little bit of this. But you want to start kind of as low as you can, more like on the ankle. And you might need to adjust. Make sure your hips aren't dropping. So lift up, press to your shoulder blades. And this is, you're getting a nice shin massage. You're also getting your abs worked. So really cool stuff there. But then, when you kind of master some of those, then it's time to take it up a notch, right? So, one movement, this could be all in itself. You could do elevator climbers. So basically you start up here, climb, go down, climb, go up, 
And you might need to readjust the hands. That's more advanced. You know, take it where you will. But you're, you're seeing that this tool is a great tool. And why would I go for this over some of the other core movements? Well, one, stability. Because of this moving and the imbalance of it all, your abs, your stabilizers especially, have to work a lot harder. So stabilizers, you're not familiar, are some of the areas that really help protect areas that can help prevent injury and some of the over missed areas and weaker areas because people aren't working those. So this is why I like this one. And yeah, it's just, it's fun. It takes your core to the next level. It's a lot of injury prevention and it just gives you a good overall workout, especially emphasizing those abs. So foam rolling isn't just for myofascial release and massaging, can also be for an intense workout. So if you have any questions and you wanna see this at play on Wednesday, we put together a cool little workout. Uh, let us know and stay tuned for that one on this Wednesday. So we always appreciate this. And again, if you've been tuning in, just if you're new to the channel, uh, I appreciate you because we are you helped increase our viewership up to over 558% and we're just rolling with that. So if you have any ideas or any videos you'd like to see, we'd love to know why you stopped by. Drop us a line, as always. Uh, we definitely appreciate it. So get out there, get moving better, feeling better, and living better. And if we can help, let us know. Peace and love, guys. Take care. Hey, thanks for checking out videos just like these. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and click on notifications below to stay up to date all these videos that we post here throughout the week. And again, tag a friend underneath if you think they might benefit from these videos. And if you need further training or further information or a little more personalized programming to meet your needs, we can create a customized roadmap to meet your needs here at FlexMP. Just click on that link below. Again, contact us today at FlexMP to get you moving better, living better, and feeling better.